Hello everyone, this is Dean Pompilio, and we're going to do a demo of a tool that is useful for gathering and organizing your information and giving you some options for generating reports on that information. Uh, these could be things like your outputs from uh, certain types of scans or perhaps your, your word list that you're generating for password cracking. Uh, maybe you want to attach some some files to uh, your your folder for a particular project, and Dratus gives us a nice nice tool to do this. So first thing we'll do is open up our web browser and we'll go to the uh, Cali Tools website. look at our list of tools and if we scroll down to the reporting tools we can find Dratus here. There are other options feel free to explore these as as you wish but uh, Dratus is really easy to use so we'll go ahead and try this one. So this allows you to share the information and it's a self-contained web application so it lets you uh, uh, have a repository that you can use for, as I said, organizing and gathering all of your information. So the first thing you need to do is start the service and then connect to the website on port 3004. The first time you connect you'll be prompted to generate a password. I've already done that step so you're not going to see that here, but this is what the screen would look like. All right, so let's open up our command shell and we will start the service. Takes a couple seconds. All right, that's done. Now let's go back to our web browser. Notice that it is SSL. So we'll go to our loopback address and port 3004. So I'll go ahead and log in with the, the, the uh, admin username and the password that I created. Okay, so we get a sample that's uh, created for, for the default install. And we can see we've got some uh, areas here. We can add notes and we can add attachments. There's tabs along the bottom to do this. And so you can explore the um, the default information that was generated. But what I'm going to do is add a branch. And a branch is just a another folder, if you will, for let's, let's actually call this uh, Social engineering audit. Okay, so I've I've got my my branch that I created just a folder to organize my information. And the first thing I want to do is uh, look at my note categories. I've got HTML export possibilities. I've got the ability to export in Word format. I'm going to go ahead and add a note. So just a little sample there, and the preview shows you what it would look like once you uh, do an export. So I'll save that now that's created, and I can add another note. And these will just accumulate, and we've got a nice timestamp information here. We can also import notes, and so you'll pick a source. And a few different formats are supported. So Metasploit uh, database format, or from Wiki, or from a vulnerability database. Depending on the kind of work you're doing, this could be a really useful feature. We can also uh, generate some filters. For instance, I'll just pick this format. 
and I can look for uh, a filter for a particular version of Wiki. And then you would uh, point this towards the directory that you're searching for. But in the case of the audit, we can add a child. So this means that I've got a subfolder. So maybe I've got uh, target number one as part of the activity. And I want to generate another folder for target number two. Uh, you can even add hosts if you want to uh, use this level of detail. And if, for instance, I might go to my, my first target. I don't have any notes generated for, for this target, uh, but I could select an attachment. And maybe I decide that there is a, a file that I'd like to attach to this particular audit. So I'll go to a directory where I know I've got some interesting files. I did a demo for the uh, Scythe tool earlier. So I'm going to scroll down and find that folder. And in this folder I generated a nice uh, list of words that I can use for a dictionary attack. So I can open that file. Now that outfile.txt is attached to the target one folder. So if you're organizing your information for your 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 sprawling uh, social engineering audit, this can make your life a lot easier. It's always good to be organized and it helps to uh, avoid making mistakes. For instance, you might be collecting information about a t uh, several different targets at a given organization and you want to make sure you've got all the information straight for each of those. You might have notes about uh, some of the targets names or the names of their associates or the names of their their management staff. So keeping this information organized on a per folder basis gives you a much better chance of, of avoiding making a mistake that will will blow your cover so to speak. All right, so hope you enjoy uh, the, uh, the demo here. You can use this tool to uh, do some interesting things. Let's look real quick at our export options. So we can generate a report in Word format. We got have a look at a, a template if that was an option. Oops, let me reselect that. We have HTML, HTML export information. So depending on what there's no data here to really see right now because I haven't really entered any uh, notes. Actually, I have some information on this record, so let's see if we can So you can generate the, the export as a, a template or as a project. And as you'll see when you start using the tool during the process of your audit, you'll have uh, differing requirements for how you want to organize the information and what's going to be most useful for your personal style that you like to, uh, to operate with. Anyway, very simple tool to use, very simple to configure, and uh, pretty useful. So go ahead and explore Dratus, and I'll see you in the next demo. Thank you.